Asus Zenfone 9, the new compact king. Are you looking for a compact phone that has all the features of a flagship high-end phone yet is power packed? Well, you are at the right place as we will be reviewing the new Asus Zenfone 9, which has been given the title of the new compact king by fans. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, TechSurge. In this video, we will be having a complete review of all the features of this new Compact King, and then you can decide if you want to buy or pass. You might have observed that in recent years, increasing the size of a smartphone is a popular approach that many companies have taken to make it stand out in the market. You would see numerous phones have the same basic design but upgraded size. But with the Zenfone 9, the newest flagship phone from Asus, the tables have turned. The design is very much similar to the last year's version, which was equally compact. The Zenfone collection from Asus has been steadily slimmed down. Unfortunately, Zenfone Flip will not be released this year. Only the Zenfone 9 is released. When compared to other companies, where you may have to track a dozen different models, this one makes life a lot simpler. These days, smaller phones are a rarity as people increasingly want larger smartphones with larger screens. But at the same time, there is also a high demand for a pocketable device with state-of-the-art features. Despite having a larger battery and better camera than its previous model, the Zenfone 9 is essentially the same size as last year's model. It weighs the same 169 grams. More space can be found on the inside thanks to the flattening of the aluminum frame. Unlike most smartphones, the rear of the Zenfone 9 is not made of curved glass but rather of flat, soft material. The polymer was a rubbery plastic, which is a unique addition, not a particularly refined one, due to the imprinted geometric forms and words on the back. Asus claims that their new material is just as durable as plastic, but without the worry of scratches. There is also a front panel made of scratch-proof Gorilla Glass Victus, and the device has an IP68 rating for resistance to dust and water. The display is a 5.9-inch AMOLED display that has a full HD 1080p resolution and a refresh rate of 120Hz. If you don't mind the slightly reduced image size, the 445 ppi resolution makes sure the content looks great. There is an excellent contrast and HDR10 Plus compatibility in the phone. You can also adjust the color settings to your liking, as the default settings are a bit low. The brightness is measured up to 450 nits while using the manual brightness slider and up to 830 nits when the auto brightness option is activated so there are plenty of options here. While the display is a 240Hz touch sampling rate and a 120Hz refresh rate, which gives a very responsive interface, the refresh rate can be lowered to save power, but not below 60Hz. The fingerprint scanner has been moved from behind the screen to the device's side, where it performs well despite the device's compact size. You can also use it as a smart key, and in addition to the usual double and long press shortcuts, you can also access it with a swipe. Even though the screen size is limited, the Zenfone 9 includes a 3.5mm headphone connector for listening to audio. The earpiece doubles as the second speaker in a pair of stereo setups. The loudness graphs indicate that the system, which was tweaked by Dirac, performs admirably well. The vocals are crisp, the treble is pleasant, and the bass is above par. The Zenfone 9 is available in both 128 and 256GB of internal storage and does not support a microSD expansion. The phone runs on Android 12 coupled with the Asus Zen UI on top. There's no bloatware and only a few proprietary apps are included, but you can still add in your own touches. A cool feature is that you can also set the double tap gesture on the rear of the phone to perform the same functions as a smart key shortcut. Are you looking for even more shortcuts? There's plenty of room for them. A downward slide towards the bottom of the screen activates a more compact one-handed mode. The Zenfone 9's Edge Tool panel, which launches apps in a pop-up window, makes this possible. And now, thanks to the Game Genie, you can use most features in your favorite games. The depth is nearly on par with what you'd get on an Asus ROG phone. It's also worth noting that Asus promises at least two years worth of security patches and updates to two major versions of Android. The Zenfone 9's chipset is one of the most notable improvements over last year's edition. In comparison to the Zenfone 8, which used a Snapdragon 888 chip, this one boasts the state-of-the-art Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. In other words, its performance has been improved over its earlier version, and its benchmark results are up there with the best we've seen for an Android phone, even when compared to earlier 2022 flagship phones. Even so, the thermals are a bit tricky. 
with an upgraded passive cooling system that's noticeably bigger than what the Zenfone 8 had, Asus has done a lot to keep the temperature under control. In our test of the continuous processing power, the Zenfone 9 did fairly well. Nonetheless, significant thermal throttling was observed during the graphics test. The Zenfone 9's battery is larger than last year's, increasing by 300 milliamp hours to a total of 4,300 milliamp hours. The phone's battery life has increased to an amazing 108 hours, making it one of the longest-lasting premium phones on the market. The charging speed of Zenfone 9 is very good, and it comes with the same 30-watt charger as the previous model. Within half an hour, you can get a 57% charge from 0%. However, it does not support wireless charging. Now, let's discuss the most important feature, i.e. the camera. The primary camera on the Zenfone 9 is 50 megapixels, has a sophisticated face detection autofocus, Sony IMX766 sensor, and 6-axis gimbal stabilization. Another option is a 12 megapixel super wide camera with autofocus that was introduced last year. Similar to optical image stabilization or OIS, the gimbal stabilizes the camera by shifting the entire camera module instead of just the lens, allowing for a wider range of motion and 3 degrees of correction angle. The main camera takes beautiful images during the day. The colors are vivid without being garish, the contrast is strong, and the dynamic range is wide. While we appreciate the degree of detail, the rendering is debatable. When zoomed in, the minute details and textures look excessively processed. The resulting portraits have a little cropped zoom, which improves the shooting distance and perspective, but reduces sharpness slightly. Nonetheless, they are attractive due to their skillful separation of subjects. Crop zooms, which you'll be using digitally to get a 2x magnification within the primary camera in the absence of a telephoto lens, aren't quite as detailed or as sharp as those achieved with the specialized zoom lens, but they're still manageable. The ultra-wide camera is one of the best out there, with a more naturalistic approach to rendering detail than the primary camera. The dynamic range is good and the colors are appealing. The camera's focusing means is also useful for shooting close-ups. The Zenfone 9's night mode processing kicks in automatically when ambient light levels are low. It doesn't always activate, but you may turn it on manually in settings if necessary. A pleasing exposure is achieved, with clarity retained in both the highlights and shadows. There is some artificial sharpening, but you can still enjoy this night version. Each night mode shot takes about 3 seconds to process, which is a minor disturbance. Other phones' night modes are noticeably quicker. You can prevent this problem by disabling night mode, but then your pictures will be underexposed and have a low dynamic range. The wide camera is very similar. When activated, the auto night mode offers a good exposure with a full range of tones and plenty of detail in both dark and light areas of the frame. The front facing camera has a 12 megapixel resolution which produces high quality selfies. The dynamic range is high and the detail is good. In addition, the autofocus feature ensures that even in dim lighting, the subject will be crisply focused using this camera. The Zenfone 9's primary camera can capture video up to 8K resolution and 24 frames per second. Alternatively, the main camera's 4K footage is also stunning. It boasts sharp focus, strong colors, relatively little color noise, and bright, bold hues. Using the EIS algorithms, the gimbal stabilization here is top-notch, making your walking and pans appear completely stable. When it comes to 4K video, the ultra-wide camera is among the best we've seen. It has vivid colors, strong contrast, and a high degree of detail. Also, the ultra-wide does quite well in terms of stabilization. The primary camera performs reasonably well, even in low light. Even while it doesn't win any awards for sharpness or dynamic range, it does a good job of preserving color and detail in well-lit regions. Although the clips recorded with an ultra-wide camera are a bit fuzzier and louder, they can still be useful. The verdict is out, and the Asus Zenfone 9 is truly a compact king. It's impressive how they have managed to place so many premium features into such a compact design for their flagship model. A newer chipset, longer battery life, and a more stable main camera are all included this time. There are conflicting opinions on the new design, and we miss the telephoto cam and wireless charging, but these features are negligible. The Zenfone 9 is a great choice if you're looking for a cutting-edge flagship that won't break the bank. Do let us know in the comment section about the features you like the most in this Compact King phone. Thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates about more tech-related news, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. See you in our next video.
Take care.